we're in Norway, but man, it looks a lot like New Zealand. Ah, uh, yeah, Norway is certainly a beautiful country. Um, some similar similarities to New Zealand, so that's pretty cool. Especially on a wet, cloudy day like today. Uh, wet, cloudy day. Um, pretty cool. Pretty grey. Um, yeah, we're gonna drive some hills, so we'll see what we get up the top there. Of course, we're midway through the tour of Norway now. Um, uh, go back a little bit. Uh, saw you the other day at the Hammerstavanger. We chatted a little bit before one of the stages there, but just what did you think about that race and that style? It's a, it's a bit out of the norm. Uh, Hammer Series, Hammer Stavanger. Um, it's everything I expected at the the Hammer Series. Um, it's a tough course three, over the three days. Each course was challenging. Uh, but here now, Tour of Norway, it set us up well for, for this stage race, so we're, as you say, midway through the week and uh, we'll keep it going. You know, we talked about the, the ethos of EF changing a little bit uh, this year going into this season. Gravel racing, the Leadville 100, uh, Red Hook Criterium. Uh, how, uh, how does the team feel about those changes? Does it affect you at all personally? I think with EF, you know, coming in and taking over total sponsorship of the team, and uh, as you see, the new the new branding, the new image, and uh, it's uh, the team's the team's going well off the back of that, and uh, it's it's exciting to go on forward with you know all the races. The guys have got dirty cans of this weekend, I think it is. Uh, we're here in Norway. There's guys racing in Italy as well, so like it's running a triple program around the world and. That's, that's a pretty cool thing. Well, so we might not see you on the mountain bike or the gravel or the cyclocross anytime soon, but but is there a chance you guys might be suiting up for a velodrome? Uh, uh, no velodromes. I'll be on the mountain bike, but you won't see me. Uh, no, no, so, but no no velodromes for you anytime soon? No, nothing on the track for me. And uh, so no no 2020 is... Tokyo, no thoughts? No, no. I think, uh, you know, I'm enjoying racing here on the road with EF and uh, we're, we're getting to a lot of races and that's taken up taking up all my time. You know, it's a long season, but we're only midway through, but already you've had a lot of racing since January. Yeah, I mean, we started with the pretty heavy program, you know, Tour Down Under. And uh, you actually had a really good month in January as well, some top results. Nationals, Tour Down Under, Cadells, Suntour, and then we come to Europe and we start the racing, uh, the proper European season. So it's pretty heavy through the classics, but uh, I've just had a nice five weeks without racing. So plenty of time to recharge and Reset for more racing coming up through so, June, July. So you do have uh, something left in the tank. What, what do you have any idea what your schedule might look like for the second half of the season? Um, at the moment, it's uh, Hammer Limburg after this, um, and then I head to Tour de Suisse. Uh, we've got uh, we've got a list for the Tour, Tour de France potential riders, so I'm on that list. And all things going well, we'll maybe we will do a lap in France. But um, yeah, that's that's as far as we go at this stage.